guys and welcome to my canning stock route adventure at last. I'm currently in Kalgoorlie in the Discovery Caravan Park for the night. My room is an absolute mess with everything spread out. I finally got all my supplies so just doing the repacking. Um, I've spent the last four days so I left Melbourne a few days ago. Did 900 kilometres across to Wadaroo on that first day and stayed in the Cornucopia Hotel in Wadaroo. Got to recommend them. Um, cheap accommodation, was 60 bucks for the room above the, above the pub. And they um, they even secured my bike for me after that. They've got a secure um, sort of golden area. Uh, after that, I woke up the next morning and I caught the ferry across from Wadaroo to Lucky Bay. Um, that sort of cut out the need to go up to Port Augusta um, and sort of gave me a nice break after that long first day. From there, I ended up in Sejuna for the night stayed at the caravan park there which was really nice uh, and then yesterday made my way across to Nullarbor um, ending up at Cockle Biddy but that was quite a nice day because I finally got to do the Bunda Cliffs which I've been wanting to do um, and yeah crossing that Nullarbor so that really the trip felt like it really started when I got there. Today I uh, left Cockle Biddy. Cockle Biddy is like a uh, it's a servo with a it's got a little bar slash restaurant attached to it um, and then got some camping at the back which is just a sort of dirt paddock with some powered sites for 35 bucks a night and a shower. From there I made my way across this morning and ended up in Kalgoorlie just after 1pm so it's quite nice to get in nice and early and sort of get everything settled. So tomorrow morning early start I've got about 550 k's to get to Waluna um, so I'll knock that out by sort of mid afternoon, fill up there, and then the plan is to get onto the canning tomorrow night. Um, probably won't make it very far in, but hopefully just enough to dump a little bit of fuel and find a nice campsite for night one. So I'm going to finish packing. I'm going to have my last supper here in Kalgoorlie. I'm going to go splash out and a good meal, and then um, yeah, we'll hit the track tomorrow. Okay, good morning, guys. Just leaving Kalgoorlie. It's um, very early. Must be 5:30ish, but um, I'm just going to head down the road to get a coffee and wait for that sun to come up. That's in the distance over there. And then we'll hit the highway and head up to Waluna. The good thing about Kalgoorlie, I don't know if it's because it's a mining town. Shops are open like 4:30. You can get a coffee there. Um, there's like a barista coffee shop down the road here that opens at 5 so perfect for us adventurers I've got to get a coffee and a egg and bacon of some sort be the last one for a while and then I'll probably see you guys up in Waluna I won't bore you with the highway so we'll see you there oh, I've made it to Waluna and bloody good time too it's 11 a.m. and I've knocked out 550 k's for the day, so I don't really know how that's happened. What that does mean though is we'll get a good crack at um, the canning today. So I'm just going to fill up uh, all my fuel, so 70 litres. This looks a bit worse for wear. Guys, well, it's 63 litres of fuel. I still have a half a tank, so I've probably got about 65 lead, 75 litres of fuel all up. Here's all my stuff. Um, so, not complaining about that, it's just obviously the old fuel cans probably expanded over time. And it's, I think that was about 15 litres instead of 13. I'm not sure about the others either, I've probably overfilled them, so. Hopefully it all goes on all right. Um, it's gonna be a bit of extra weight, but happy with having some extra fuel at least, so. We'll get her on, get packed, and then um, make our way out to the county. Summer gloves are on. I 
Opal fuel. That didn't go there. I'm just about to hit three and a half thousand k's for the trip. And this is my first bit of dirt. on Tuesday I'm hoping we'll be in Billy Luna by Monday Let's see how we go all right only about eight k's out of town and we're coming up to well one One of 52. <laughs> Nothing too impressive about that, so I'm not going to stop and have a walk around. All right. Let's count them down. All righty. We're on it now. Number two. Alright guys, we're about 50 k's out of Woluna at well number two. Uh, this one's no longer in use. Um, there is some water right at the bottom. Um, so I don't know if there's plans to restore it or not. But um, yeah, no, no current use to us. So very soon I can start thinking about ditching some fuel out of those um, drink bottles. One, because I don't really like having fuel in drink bottles. And two, it would just be good to start getting some rid of some weight off the back. It's quite deceiving, it doesn't feel that heavy until you really, it dips really quick. Wait. <laughs> the back wobbles around heaps in the sand. squirming around everywhere with all that weight up high at the back. Been managing it though until I knew this was going to happen. This little bugger fell off and then got caught up behind the wheel. So I pulled up and where it was jammed it pushed me over so it fell over and then I'll have to get everything off and then muscle this up. Frustrating little episode so early on. And you're trying to get your confidence up, but um, came away lightly. Going to try and get to the next, the next well, well number three, and then uh, we'll have a good break there. I think. All right, better get packing. For some reason, when I dropped the bike back there, the odometer reset. So. 
around about 55 k's. It says 1.5 on the dometer now, and it's just got rocky. So I'm not going to lie, that little drop did shake me up a bit actually. Like it was really difficult to lift the bike. The sand's been hard work with all the weight still on it. But I'm not in a rush, so I don't need to do this at any sort of rush pace. Doesn't need to look pretty either, it just needs to be nice and constant. Plenty of brakes. And hopefully once that weight starts coming off, be able to start enjoying the riding a bit better. This isn't working. All that extra weight is th throwing the bike around something shocking. The front's diving. And this is not even deep sand, this is just corrugations. I've almost gone down again, and that's probably the third time since third very close call since I've got on the track and it's not just a matter of dropping the bike and having to pick it up it's just every time I fall or go come close to I'm getting caught up in the panniers and it's a lot of weight it's pretty sobering actually I'm still about 10 k's off the next well so we're still fairly early in and I can just hear that voice from my Cape York trip where I got a bit like stranded saying don't push it I promised myself then I wouldn't push it too far if I came, got into trouble I'd get out early I'm not making any progress at the moment it's not fun this track would be great if the bike was handling well, it's just all that weight in the back. Suspension hasn't been done, so it's pounding around, losing traction, and the front's diving heaps. I think I'm going to turn around and do the smart thing. I can still make a trip out of it, a decent trip, if I head back now, versus if I keep going and things don't improve. So I need to get rid of that. That's 21 litres right there. That's 200 plus k's before I'll know whether I can actually start enjoying this ride or not. And at that point there's no real turning back. It's beautiful out here. I think I'm going to turn back. Might turn back and then, yeah, make a trip out of it, go to the coast or something. Still do Good River Road and across the top to Cape York. Still get that good ride in. But maybe just leave this for another day. When I've got someone else with me and I'm... I don't know, I don't know whether it's just the weight or... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out, but... I think, guys, I'm sorry, I've promised you a canning stock route adventure, but I've got a feeling there would be a canning stock route recovery if I keep going like this, and I'm, I'm sick of making those videos, so I'm going to head back to, well, Walloon away, and then try and safely do that, I'm even nervous about going back. Um, and then I'll probably head towards the coast. We'll come up with a plan in Waluna. The bike feels fine. <laughs> it's like this. Once you're moving, 
in that sand and starts to sway all that momentum works against you I'm too nervous to stand up the way that front keeps diving Not explain just how much the handling has changed on this thing like I've ridden overloaded bikes before I've ridden this overloaded before but this is ridiculous I'm struggling to do got 18 k's an hour feels like I've never ridden sand again before But I don't want to injure myself, that's the biggest thing, I don't care about dropping it. If I drop this on my leg, I'm in a bit of trouble. I'm going to stop sticking my leg out. So with 300 kgs with the bike, I stick my leg out and snap it easy. Assures me I'm doing the right thing turning around. Fuck. <laughs> that was not me swearing, that was the horn. <coughs> that was me swearing. <laughs> I know maybe I should have loaded the bike up and done a pre-run like in the little desert or something. But I've ridden this. I was confident. This is just um, got me beat. I'll admit it. Anyway, oh, if I bloody get out of this alive, at least I went to refuel to the bloody Gibra <laughs> River Road. Fuel for days. This is embarrassing. I lost all my confidence now. Fucking. It's gonna be a long 10Ks out. Or however far it is. stretches like this so you're already enjoying the sand and good really makes me want to turn around again but I cannot believe how poorly the bike handled anyway we live in and we learn we'll load her up before the next trip and Make sure I know what I'm in for. Maybe organised to bring the uh, WR250 from Tassie over one day and use that instead. I'm sure we'll be back. You may too want to ride it, so hope you can convince them. Probably not after this video. The other thing is that even though the bike's misbehaving, you know the right thing is to get on the gas and get out, but when you're so remote, such a big heavy dick bike. You can't really go that quick because you end up going to break something and 
Odds are you're probably going to come off eventually. The thing you break might be you. I'm just making excuses now. Well, that's the end of my canning stock roof adventure. What a fizzer. Alrighty. Just going to head back into Waluna. Let everyone know what's happened. And then... I'm probably going to head towards Derby and I'll probably have a look at the map when I get there and just see where I can go um, be nice to get to the coast but WA is a big place so I don't know how far that is anyway I'll see you further down the road probably in Waluna when I come up with a plan well guys I am um, camping in Northpool which is Still on the canning, it's 10 k's or 20 k's out of Waluna, just on some water. Spend the night here, and then from here, I'm going to go up to Broome and Derby and then start the Gibb River Road. Um, but I'll probably start a new series for that, and I'll end the canning series here. Um, yeah, very disappointed. I've um, been planning this for a long time. In saying that, I've, I'm fairly, I'm very confident that was the right decision to make. The bike was handling poorly, with all the weight up top, bouncing all over the place, um, and that was only 60 odd k's in. So, yeah, it was going to be a long haul from there. So, I think I've made the right call. Well, I'm confident I've made the right call. Um, as disappointing as, as it is, um, hopefully one day I'll come back on a, either a lighter bike or have a better idea of maybe how to pack or if it's a suspension thing, I don't think so. I think it's just more that weight up top, it's just everything's so exaggerated. Like I've had a heavy bike before in the sand, but this is just ridiculous. It's unpredictable and the front keeps diving, so anyway, I'll stop making excuses. Sorry it wasn't the adventure you guys were looking forward to watching. It wasn't the one I'd planned and filming either, so um, we'll try again some other time. But um, yeah, we'll sulk about it tonight, but tomorrow morning the Gibber River Road adventure begins. Wouldn't change your wouldn't change your mind If staying still was a heinous crime Then you'd be the worst alive I'll bail you out If you step outside a million dollars Wouldn't change your 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 Change your mind.